Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, in class 5, we are going to learn a new topic called as unitary method. This method involves both the mathematical operations division and multiplication. Let us go into the details of this video to understand what is unitary method. The method of first finding the value of 1 by dividing and then the value of many by multiplying is called the unitary method. There are two steps involved in this process. First, if the cost of 10 items is given, you can find the cost of one item by dividing by 10. This is the first step. After that, once you find the cost of one item, you can find the cost of many items by multiplying. Example, with the cost of one item, you can find the cost of 10 items by multiplying by 10. Let us do some example sums to understand the concept of unitary method better. Example 1. A box of 10 pencils costs rupees 30. The teacher wanted to buy 6 pencils. How much will she have to pay? Let us first write down what is given to us. Cost of 10 pencils is equal to rupees 30. What are they asking us to find? Cost of 6 pencils. For the unitary method, what is the first step? You will have to find the cost of 1 pencil first. Step 1 will be find the cost of 1 pencil by dividing. Cost of 1 pencil is equal to cost of 10 pencils divided by 10. What is the cost of 10 pencils? We know that the cost of 10 pencils is rupees 30. So, rupees 30 divided by 10. What is 30 divided by 10? It is 3. So, cost of 1 pencil is rupees 3. What is the next step in unitary method? Once you find the cost of one item, you can find the cost of many items by multiplying. So, that will be the step 2. Find the cost of 6 pencils by multiplying. So, what is the step now? To find the cost of 6 pencils, you should multiply the cost of one pencil by 6. What is the cost of one pencil? Cost of one pencil is rupees 3. And you will have to multiply it by 6. What is 3 into 6? 3 into 6 is 18. So, rupees 18 is the answer which is the cost of 6 pencils. Now, take and write down the answer. The teacher has to pay rupees 18 for 6 pencils. Hope you understood how we are doing the unitary method. First, you will have to find out the cost of one item by dividing. Then you will have to find the cost of many items by multiplying. Let us do more examples now. Example 2. Three buses can carry 60 people. How many people can seven buses carry? What is the first step in the solution? Take and write down what is given. Number of people three buses can carry is equal to 60. Step 1 is to find out how many people can be carried in one bus. So, what do we have to do? To find the number of people one bus can carry, we should do division. Number of people one bus can carry is equal to number of people three buses can carry divided by 3. What is the number of people three buses can carry? It is 60 which is the given information 60 divided by 3. Let us do the division now. 3 into 2 is 6. When you subtract you get 0. Take and put down the 0 again. So in the quotient again you will have to add a 0. So what is the answer? 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. So in one bus 20 people can be carried. What is the question now? How many people can 7 buses carry? So the next step is to do multiplication. Step 2 will be find the number of people 7 buses can carry by multiplying. So number of people 7 buses can carry is equal to number of people 1 bus can carry into 7. What is the number of people 1 bus can carry? 20. So 20 into 7. What is 7 twos are 14? You add 1 0 it becomes 140. So take and write down the answer. 7 buses can carry 140 people. Very easy and interesting isn't it? Let us do the third example now. Samir finished reading a book of 180 pages in 9 hours. How many pages did he read in 3 hours? So the first step will be to 
find out how many pages did Samir read in one hour. If you find that, you will have to multiply it by 3 to get the answer for finding out the number of pages he read in 3 hours. Shall we do it step by step? Solution will be number of pages read by Samir in 9 hours is equal to 180. This is the given information. Always take and write down the given information properly. Step 1 will be to find out the number of pages read in 1 hour by the division method. Number of pages read in 1 hour is equal to number of pages read in 9 hours divided by 9 which is nothing but 180 divided by 9. Let us do this division now. 9 into 2 is 18. When you subtract you get 0. Take and put down the 0. So you will have to add a 0 in the quotient again. So what is 180 divided by 9? 20. So in 1 hour he has read 20 pages. But the question is to find out how many pages did he read in 3 hours. Now you know that for 1 hour you will have to multiply it by 3 to find out the answer for number of pages he read in 3 hours. Shall we do that? Step 2 is to find the number of pages read in 3 hours by multiplying. So number of pages read in 3 hours is equal to number of pages read in 1 hour into 3. What is that? Which is 20 into 3. What is 20 into 3? 3 twos are 6, append 1 0. So you get 60 pages is read in 3 hours by Samir. Take and write down the answer. Samir read 60 pages in 3 hours. Shall we do one more example? Example 4 is the annual rent of a house is rupees 48,000. What is the rent for 5 months? What do you mean by annual? Annual means 12 months. So for 12 months, the rent is 48,000. Let us take and write down the information given in the solution. Rent of the house for 12 months is equal to rupees 48,000. What do we have to find? We will have to find the rent for 5 months. By unitary method, what is the first step? You will have to find out the rent for one month by division method. Step 1 is find the rent of the house for one month by dividing. Rent for one month is equal to rent for 12 months divided by 12. What is the rent for 12 months? It is rupees 48,000 divided by 12. Shall we do the division? 12 into what is 48? 12 into 4 is 48. So when you subtract you will get 0. Take and put down the 0. So you will have to add a quotient 0 again. Take and put down the next 0. Now once again you will have to add a 0 in the quotient. Take and put down the third 0. So once again you will have to add a 0 in the quotient. So what is 48,000 divided by 12? 4,000 is the answer. So the rent for 1 month is 4,000. But the question is to find out the rent for 5 months. So what you will have to do? Multiplication. Step 2 is to find the rent for 5 months by multiplying. Rent for 5 months will be equal to Rent for 1 month into 5. What is the rent for 1 month? Rent for 1 month is rupees 4000. So rupees 4000 into 5 will be 5 into 4 is 20. Add the remaining 3 zeros. So you will get rupees 20,000 to be the answer. Take and write down the answer. The rent for 5 months is rupees 20,000. Very interesting, isn't it? With that, we complete this topic. What are all the learning outcomes for children in class 5 under the division topic? Division of 5 digit numbers by 2 digit numbers. This one we have done in my first video. Next is divide and check your answer by multiplication. There is a formula for this also. We have done a very detailed video for this topic. It is there in my home page and also in the playlist. I will give a link to all of them in the description box. The next topic that we saw was average is a very very important topic that was covered in a separate video. Now in this topic we saw unitary method. In my upcoming topics for class Y division, we will be seeing story sums applying multiplication and division, understanding the four operations. Then we will do a mental math and division worksheet. As I have always told, each topic, the smallest topic that the children will learn will be put as a separate detailed video in my channel. And links to all the related videos will be given below under the respective videos in their description box. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the content, give a thumbs up. Do not forget to share it with your friends. Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I put in my channel by clicking on the bell icon. You may also click on the playlist which will contain the class 5 division videos. See you again.